Live from Guaranteed Rate Field on the south side of Chicago. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies going up against the Chicago White Sox. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to roll. And today's starting pitcher, Michael Kopech. He's a dominant pitcher, but he can get a little too relaxed second and third time through the order and miss his spots. That's where we see him get touched up. If he maintains the same intensity that he has in the first inning and the second inning, I think we'll see him hand the ball over to his closer. Ready to go now? Trey Turner at the plate. The quarterback, Clay Turner. And here it comes. Laced into left. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And now it's Alec Bohm. And first offering is fouled off. And that one fouled off. Turner gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next pitch inside. Going to count one and two. It's a good take. The next ball. offering misses. And yeah, that's ball two. In the dirt, but kept close. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Rudder at first with no outs here. And that's ball four. That's a tough one to swallow right there if you're on the mound. You're ahead in the count 0-2, and you just couldn't find a way to put him away. That's going to be frustrating if that one comes back to bite him. Now at the plate, Brandon Jordan. That one not close. And that's ball one. And the right-hander deals. Misses outside, and it's 2-0. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. First and second here, no outs. The 2-1. Zavala makes the catch one down. And time now for the Phillies lineup. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know guys are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing that can get out of the ballpark with a guy who's got decent pop. And first offering is fouled off. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. High drive, deep right field, way back there, out of here. Bryce Harper goes deep, and they throw three on the board. It's 3-0.
The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments and right there made a statement big time. Good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Infield shifted to the pull side. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. On the ground to first. And he takes it himself for the out. And now for the Phillies, Garrett Stubbs. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Just a little too quick on that front shoulder, front hip, front foot. Everything comes open. No way of making contact with that one. And now oh. it's even up. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. The pitch. <laughs> and that's a strike. And that one hit to first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And that is that. Bryce Harper brings the power for Philly. It's now 3-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. here at the ballpark. Today's starting pitcher, Ranger Suarez. Boogie pitched into the seventh, earned the W in his last start. He really needed that one. Well, his team needs another one today. We'll see if he can carry that performance into this game. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Tim Anderson. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Good eye right there. You know, Boog, I can relate to Tim Anderson with my football background and baseball background. He played Little League Baseball, but then decided to focus on basketball until he got hurt his sophomore year of high school. He then went back to baseball as a junior. Four years later, the White Sox made him a first-round draft pick. Tim made a good choice. Yes, he did. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Man at first, Leori Garcia up to the plate. And there's a hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. No Aloy Jimenez stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. He was looking to come up with the shutdown inning. And off to a shaky start. No. The next pitch misses, and a count two and one. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. He makes the grab. Runner tags up for third. In there safely. Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. They're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound, which can be a big-time challenge when he's right and working mostly from the knees down. Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then, make him elevated because guys that throw those sinkers, those two-seamers, really hard for them to be effective up in the zone. Those are pitches you can hammer, but when you get a cookie, you don't want to miss it. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! 
And now the lefty. And there's a foul ball. Runners are at the corners, one away. Got it by him for the K. That right there is one of those breaking balls that you swing through and you feel like you should have done something with it or at least spoiled it away. But when it's breaking in on you like that, if the spin is tight enough, it can actually tie you up. Andrew Vaughn in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Next one misses. And now 2-0. Anderson on third. Garcia at first. Two out of the inning. Two-two now. Fights it off. You'll see another. Well, pretty clear to me. He was trying to go deep right there. But you got to get a pitch that you can handle. And he deals. And that's oh, downstairs yeah. and outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Sebi Zavala waiting for a turn at the plate. In the air, right side. Base hit and a run in to score. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. And up next for Chicago, Sebi Zavala. First pitch, not close. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Tough play on a nice backhand stop. Had to be perfect with the exchange and throw to get the out, but it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper, like he was trying to get a split finger grip or something. Close play, but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference. Jake Berger now at the plate. And a foul ball. At the belt and fires. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. No ball. Two, strikes. Two outs. Bases are full. Check swing. Appeal to first. No swing. Just held it back there. That one back up the middle and it gets through. One runs in. Not in time. He's safe. Back even, it's 3-3. Three, three. That's three singles in a row. Didn't get cheated on that swing and squared it up perfectly. He came up the bat at 111, and when that's the case, odds are very much in your favor as a hitter. Here's Elvis Andrews. And yeah, the first Runner. offering is not close. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for... Somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. Tied up here in the early going. And the Good next boy. pitch is way outside. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. Snags it on the run. And that is the third out of the inning. They strike for three runs on five hits. No errors, and a couple left on. We head to the second on the south side. All tied up at three apiece. Back at guaranteed rate field. Top of the second, Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Kopech back to work. Out towards right center field. Vaughn gets under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. One up, one down. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Two hits for him in yesterday's game. 
swings through that oh one. One. Look, it looked like that curveball backed up on him, and although it's a mistake, it works out really good for the pitcher. The hitters timed it up, expects it to be to a certain spot, and it just doesn't get there. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Garcia moving under it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and there's two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Foul ball there. Oh, and two now. Way high. Puts it in the air out towards left center. It falls in, and that's a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Big knock there to keep the inning alive and an opportunity to put something in the gap and give the Phillies the lead. Trey Turner with a chance now. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. Swings through that one, no and one. The pitch. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone oh. and spit on anything that's down. One ball, two strikes. Next ball offering two. misses. Now two and two. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Got him looking for the K. One left for Philadelphia. Score remains tied at three. Bottom half of inning number two. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. And a pitch. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. But no chance, that's an infield single. The batter number seven, shortstop, Tim Anderson. Stepping in, the White Sox leadoff man, Tim Anderson. One for one, he let off the bottom of the first with a single. Pitch ball. downstairs, and that's ball one. And fouled off. The pitch. Ball inside. Swing and a ball popped up, and it falls. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. And next to hit for the Sox, Leori Garcia. Squares the bunt, but that rolls foul. Grandal over at second. Anderson at first with no outs. And that bunted towards third. Goes to second. Safe there. Bases loaded, nobody out. Here's Aloy Jimenez. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And the 
And the first pitch misses for ball one. The opportunity for a huge inning exists right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. But as a hitter, can't be over anxious. That pitcher's up against the wall. Make him come to you. Making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller. Yeah, and Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boog. He's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time. Maybe some inconsistency here or there, but usually he's back there doing a solid job. Base is juiced, no outs. Swing, and this ball is hammered. No doubt about it. Out of here. Grand slam. Aloy Jimenez leaves the yard, and now they're out front. It's 7-3. And now it's Luis Robert. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. Next offering is in for a strike. Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Andrew Vaughn now. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. That misses the zone. And it's one and oh. One down, base is empty. Two balls, no strikes to count. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. You've got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field knock. Still only one out here in the inning. in the air out to right Harper calls it in and there's two away number, baseman, number 44 and Sebi. here's the first baseman Sebi Zavala well they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning and this is where you want to just max out get as much as you can give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two down, nobody on. No. Who owes the count? Swing and a miss. Two now two One balls point. and a strike. Yeah, 
the wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. Foul ball, he stays alive. The 2 2. Turner brings it in for the third out. A grand slam for the White Sox. It's now a four run lead at 7 3. You're watching Phillies baseball on the show Northeast. Here on the south side, and the batter now, Alec Bull. Alec Bull. Kopech back to work. Ball one there. The one to one in the air right field. Vaughn makes the catch, and there's one down. All right, who was the first White Sox player to hit for the cycle here at Guaranteed Rate Field? Um, Jose Valentin. No. Okay. Do you want to try again? Um, Tim Anderson. Chris, it was you. Really? Mm-hmm. I knew that. I know you did. Garcia pulls it down, and there's two away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. And now here is Harper. He had a big three-run homer in his first trip. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. So what do I remember about that day? I remember being in the zone. We were playing the Kansas City Royals and just felt like everyone was moving in slow motion and I was moving in real time. And it was a very uh, euphoric type of feeling and uh, a night that I'll never forget. 0-2 oh, as he waves okay. at that one. Next pitch one, way upstairs. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. The one, two. Oh, he goes down three. looking. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They're down four. It's seven to three. Bottom half of the third, and they bring in a new pitcher, Gregory Soto. He's pitching on two days rest. Number 30, Gregory Soto. Investing way too much until this game is time to pay me. Sales game, sharks, no ball, the fast, I'm like a baby. Been all around this town, it's not a neighborhood that faced me. Getting compensated for protecting homes and babies, yeah. Push my, push my, this push my, push my, this push my, push my, this push my, push my, this. Understands that you got the rip bands, the urban bands for the Lexus. Trying to live life like executives. If you need a job, just text us. Paula just got a new role, yeah. Pat do a payroll with Joey, yeah. Need to document the whole thing, but I am G up on the plane to record it.
Jake Berger digs in now. He drove in two with a single his first time up. The wind and the pitch. And there's a ball. You know, these White Sox really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They jumped all over the starter and knocked him out of the game early. He just was never able to settle in, and the damage was done by the time he got the hook. And a pitch. And strike two. I mean, when you're chasing the opposing starter in the first inning or two, that's just such a tone setter for the game. And it puts the other team back on their heels, and it instills a lot of confidence in your lineup from top to bottom. That one ripped. That's back there. And it's off the batter's eye. He flexes his power with that swing. His first homer of the year, it's 8-3. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. Off the second, he brought it back out there too. Gave it a great effort, but you know, those plays are so tough to pull off. You know, I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. Elvis Andrews, the next to hit. That one's in there. That's strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. Way high one, there. Two. One and two to count. On the ground to the left. Tosses to first. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Now batting, catcher, Yasmani. Grandal. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. The switch hitter batting right. And it's fouled away. Soto, in his fourth year, 28 years old. And he was selected for the All-Star game last year. The pitch. And one, ball two. one. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. No, that's not the no best two-strike fastball I've seen, but it certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Jordan right there to make the grab. And that is that. But the White Sox get one on a homer. It's now 8-3. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Yeah, we in go mode. Going, going. Yeah, we in go. And welcome back. Now the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Left fielder, Kyle Warber. And a pitch. Uh -huh. And a strike in there. No ball. One strike. And now the One count one. is even. That's a strike. To the right side. Zavala takes it to the bag. One up, one down. Now batter. The catcher. Garrett Stubbs. 
Garrett Stubbs will hit next. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. And that's in there for strike one. Ground ball right side. Takes it himself. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. The batter, number eight, designated hitter, Nick. Here's Cuffin Nicholas Castellanos. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Oh, one, one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that oh, up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that one pitch. One ball, one strike. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Castellanos checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. And Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. Check swing, but he went too far. And that is strike two. That one drifts inside. In the air to left center, Robert hustling after it. Pulls it in on the run. And that will end the inning. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. Can't chip away at an 8-3 deficit. Welcome back, bottom of the inning. And now it's going to be Leori Garcia. A wide to kick the pitch. And a good eye there. Soto, an all-star a season ago. He features a sinker, a four-seamer, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. The Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front, so off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. And another Three ball. One. Slow roller to third. Boom. Gloves it. In plenty of time to first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Now the Eloy Jimenez now. He's already homered in this game. First pitch and he just misses. Just off the outside edge. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. Get a big swing and a miss. <laughs> 3 0 hack right there. Say, man, I'm going to go for it. The wind of the pitch. In the air, out towards right center. Jordan gliding as he moves to his left. And he makes the catch. And there's two down. Now Luis Robert now. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Yeah, that's outside. Two, one. That's no, down that's and in. Three, one. Pull Jack down. Swing went around, and the count's full. And a pitch. On the ground to third, and it goes just foul. Two outs. Triple digits on that last pitch. One, two, three, go the White Sox. But they lead it 
close enough to keep me out of harm's club but can't seem to save a single thing who's afraid to be a thing back here on the south side and it's reese hoskins up to the dish number 17 They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. And that's in for a strike. That's hard hit on the line. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Hoskins into second, and he's got a double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. So, man aboard. Here's the second baseman, Josh Harrison. And he's already singled in this game. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. Yo, one. And a swing and a miss. Hoskins at second with nobody out. Kicks and fires. Next offering misses down and away. Tap softly third base side. A swinging bunt and foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. And a ball evens the count. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. That misses, and it's a full count. Full count. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. No, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow right. death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Turner, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Runner leads away at second. 1-1. One, one. Straighten him up a little bit. Runner at second here, one gone. Go get that Next Two pitch one. misses way outside. Just off the inside edge. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. And it's filled up. On the ground. Anderson picks it up. Turner is out. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting now to get there. Just rolled Bohm over it. Got the ground ball. Alec so digging in, Alec Bohm. Get the strike out. Next oh. offering is down low. Ball one. 
Two outs and one in scoring position. Swing and a base hit. Runner holds it third. So even with two outs, they didn't risk it. The center field, number 25. Brandon. So two on with two away. Yeah. Stepping in the long ball threat, Brandon Jordan. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. In there for strike one. Righty to the plate. That one down the line. Base hit and a run comes in. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Bryce Harper to the plate, one for two. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. That's ripped to right down the line. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. Well, he gave that one a pretty good ride down the line, but if Hook just foul down in the corner, that could have been an easy double if it stayed fair. Struck him out without a swing. Big time third strike to end the inning against a real threat. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. Last half of the fifth coming up. White Sox eight and the Phillies four. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the right fielder, Andrew Vaughn. The right fielder. The pitch. Just off the outside edge. One and oh. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Schwarber settles under it. Makes the grab. One away. The first baseman, number 44. Sebi. So up next, Sebi Zavala. And that one is lifted in the air. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. You know what they say. He couldn't have thrown it out there any better. Rudder takes off. Swing and a miss. No throw safe at second. Zavala, the runner at second with one away. Now a screamer into the outfield. And there's a hit. The throw in. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. One away, runners at first and third. Elvis Andrews steps to the plate for the White Sox. He swings and fouls one off. And now the 1 On the ground to third. And it gets by him. Scrambles back to second safely. A run comes in on the play. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Grandal in the box with one away as he takes ball one. And that one clips the corner. pitch I think we may oh, have a balk here and yes we do second and third here one away next oh. pitch misses and it's two and one he's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound getting hit around a little bit let's see if he can softly hit the third 
to the plate, save! And it's now a six-run lead, and he'll be safe at first. Tim Anderson steps to the plate for the White Sox. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Not what he's looking for there in the 0-0 count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. One, one. That misses, and now it's even one and one. One out, runners at first and second. Next no, offering upstairs. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pit. Got him swinging. Pulled the string of the changeup. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Garcia at the plate now. That's ball one. First and second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. Just missed. Not even close there. Three and one now. And that'll load the bases. Aloy Jimenez steps to the plate for the White Sox. Drill to center. That's way back. And you can't forget it. Home run. was a moonshot his second home run of the game and they add on it's 14-4 Let's break out the StatCast numbers. It's singing. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. Luis Robert steps to the plate for the White Sox. Righty reliever out of the pen, Andrew Bellot. He's into the game with the bases empty. Number 64. In the air, out towards left center. Jordan puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. So they strike for six in the inning as there's the big blow. The grand slam home run. We're through five. Back after this on the show. New pitcher for the White Sox, Davis Martin. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. And the pitch. Schwarber in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. The next pitch misses. And the count is 2-0. No strike. Up the middle. The throw to first. Out. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Garrett Stubbs stands in for the now Phillies. Garrett Stubbs. Right side. Into the outfield base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. Man at first with one gone. Stepping in, Nick Castellanos. And first offering is fouled off. Martin, a 6-2 righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he occasionally uses a curve. Late swing, fouled off. Stubbs, at first, one gone. Good eye right there. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. 
Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. Nick Castellanos goes deep, his second of the year, and they inch closer. It's 14 6. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Reese Hoskins stands in for the Phillies. And first offering is fouled off. That's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Up next for Philadelphia, the second baseman, Josh. Next to hit, Josh Harrison. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Yeah, the right hander deals. That's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Back-to-back -back singles. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Trey Turner now. Gets under and pops it up. And that's a base hit. Hoskins around third. He will score. And they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. He's in there. It's 14 to 7. White Sox going with a new arm. Aaron Bummer. He has a great slider with tons of movement. So they're at the corners now. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Robert moves under it. Squeezes it. Runner tags for home. Throw and it gets away. He'll score the sack fly, and they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. Man, there's a sack fly to bring home another run in this inning. These guys are just piling it on. We're seeing some really quality at-bats out of this team right now. Man, at first, here's a big power threat. Brandon Jordan, outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, Movement in the bullpen. Jose Ruiz getting loose out there. Next offering is outside. Turner leads off first with two down to the inning. Bomber deals. And the one two misses to even the count. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how. And down on strikes he goes. And that is that. So it's. And welcome back. John Shami with Chris Singleton in the booth. And leading off the bottom of the sixth, Andrew Vaughn. And here it comes. That one missing inside. Vaughn measures six feet even, 24 years old. Usually a first baseman. Today he starts in right. 2-0. Yeah, I always thought that was an interesting transition because you're pretty much on the same spot on the field looking in at home plate, but you're a little further back this time, so I'm sure when you're playing right field after moving from first base, it's a little bit of a delay of game by the time the ball gets to you. 
And now the first baseman, Sebi Zavala. In there, and it's 0-1. No ball. One strike. And a weak ground ball to the left side. Slings it across. Two up, two down. Now Jake Berger steps to the plate for the White Sox. That one's in there, 0-1. And a swing and a miss. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Top of inning number seven, and now the right fielder, Bryce Harper. Bummer, back to work. That one to first, and he handles it himself for the out. Now batting, the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. So digging in, Kyle Schwarber. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. Swing and a tapper. And two away to start the seven. Now batting, Tetra, Garrett Stubbs. At the play, Garrett Stubbs. First offering, and it just misses. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. There's the swing and a miss. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Next one misses, two and one. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. That one back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Bottom of the seventh, and here is Elvis Andrews. Close, but call the ball. Ball one. Flares it into the outfield. A little bloop single. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. Pitch was away, so he definitely pulled off it there. Not what you want to do with the pitch in that location, really, but he was able to guide it into the outfield for the knock. Here comes the 1. Ground ball right side could be two. Hoskins tossed the second to first, but it pulls him off the bag. Up next for the right side. Not shortstop. And up next for Chicago, Tim Anderson. First offering misses badly for ball one. Swing and a miss. The 1-1. One, one. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. The throw in, it's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Garcia stands in now and watches strike one. Grandal, the runner at third. Anderson over at second with one down. Puts it in the air out towards left center. That's a base hit. Run scores. To third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. 
Couple of hits in a row for him here. That ball right there landed in what they call the no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you... Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. One run is in. Garcia coming home. He's also in to score. And they now lead by nine. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. He's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Connor Brogdon. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing, and he gets back in. The pitch. Now one and one. One out and a runner at second. That one hit to right. Harper makes the play. Two down. The batter. The right. Andrew Vaughn Andrew. steps to the plate for the White Sox. Ball. That ball. one is upstairs. One ball. No strike. That's in there. And that is strike one. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. One ball. Runner at second, two down. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and one left on. Here on the south side, and now Nick Castellanos. And he deals. Swings and misses. And that's strike one. Now one ball. missed. One ball, one strike. Swings and misses and one down below the zone. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Next pitch is outside. Belton fires. Still two and two after the foul ball. And that's the strikeout looking. Throws him with the heater at the knees. Reese Hoskins stands in for the Phillies. Beautiful swing in his last at bat. Opposite field knock. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Garcia gliding to his right. Racing makes the catch. And there are two down. Oh, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Harrison, the next to hit, takes ball one. The next offering misses, and that's ball two. Two down, nobody on. That one's spoiled, and... The count now two and one. The pitch. And now the count filled up three and two. And the pitch. Good ball plate ball. appearance ball. there. Able to take the walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. So the batting order turns over. Here's Turner now. 
Bounce to the left side. Rolls across the diamond, and the inning is over. Back at guaranteed rate field. Now, Sebi Zavala. And there's the strike. To the right side. And it gets by him. Jake Berger now at the plate. And that's in there for strike one. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Hoskins hauls it in and there's one away. So up next for Chicago, Elvis Andrews. In there for strike one. Zavala stands at first with one out. Fights that one away and the count remains 0-2. Righty delivers. High chopper to third. And he grabs it foul. Right-handed reliever. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Now the catcher up to hit. Yasmani Grandal. The one gets a check swing. Appeal to third. And yes, he did. That's a swing according to Earl Hendricks. Check swing. He went. And the count is 0-2. A little roller up along first. He'll do it himself. Third out. And that ends the frame. The new pitcher in the game, Joe Kelly. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Boom. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Action in the pen down there. Jose Ruiz. The hard-throwing righty is up and loosening. Out to short. Anderson collects. Over to first. There to beat him by an eyelash. So up next, Brandon Jordan. Maybe expecting a bunt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Line drive, base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. All over that one right there. These days, when you see a ball come off the bat like that, I mean, the first thing you want to know as a spectator, what was the exit velocity? 109 in this case. I mean, that's just impressive. And it's so cool we can get that sort of feedback so instantly in today's game. Next offering is in for a strike. No ball, two strikes. That one oh. just misses. Now all leave it up. That's okay. a little bit low. Left hand batter waits. Nice. Up the middle. Anderson to first. Out. Now only one out remaining. Now here is Kyle Schwarber. Oh. 
Swing and a ball hammered left field back there. And gone! Kyle Schwarber blasts one out the other way. And they slice into the lead. It's 17-10. to 10. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. To the slight opposite field, into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. Base is empty with two away. Here's the catcher, Garrett Stubbs. And first offering is fouled off. Hey, partner, how's your scorecard looking right now? A little dicey, kind of hieroglyphics style at the moment. You know what it's like, Singy? Remember our trip to London, Yankees and Red Sox in 2019? I think there were, were there 50 runs scored in the two games combined? My scorecard was ugly for that series. Is just one strike away. One, two. Yeah, pretty That's ridiculous. And you use like five different colors of pens, so like it's just a mosaic over there. Yeah, I mean, I, I know you're always judging the different pens. That like, you know, I got the skinny scoring pen, and then I have the red, and then the black, and then I got a highlighter. So there is a lot going on. Back-to-back -back base hits. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Oh, no. Castellanos stands in here, takes ball one low. And the pitch. So two balls and no strikes. Hard hit left side. And that one finds its way through. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. New pitcher for the one. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. It bangs off the wall. One run is in. Another comes in to score. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. And it's scoring position with two away. Josh Harrison stands in for the Phillies. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ruiz goes six foot one. He features a four seam fastball, a curve, and he works in a changeup. Slapped foul. And the righty deals. This to third, and that's just foul. The one-two. In the dirt. Well done behind the dish. Man on second, two down. Ground ball, left side. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. So the lineup flips over. Here's Trey Turner. First oh. offering misses the mark. Two on, two outs. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. 
Corners are occupied with two down. And the next pitch is way outside. Kicks and fires. That one finds the zone. It's two and two. Swing and a ground ball out to short. And that'll do it. Certainly can't complain about a lack of action in this one. A high-scoring game. Purists might not love it, but pretty impressive showing at the plate from both sides. Tons of offense in this one for Chris Singleton and our entire career. I'm John Chambi saying so long from the south side of Chicago. <laughs>